we use IoT in my institution since 2007. And uh, like most centers, we started off with uh, breast. Um, but in our days, the um, part we use it uh, are changing. So we actually use it mostly for neuro. <clears throat> and that's where my, my main expertise is. Uh, we use um, uh, low energy X-ray IoT. Um, it's the the size um, DOI is called Intrabeam. Uh, it creates a uh, 50 kV um, X-rays, and um, it's got a deep dose gradient, and it got the big advantage that if you use it in the OR, um, you don't need any additional uh, radiation protection efforts. So this is a, a easy to use. Um, tool so and actually at the moment we use it um in the brain and we use it in the abdomen and we use it um for the breast that's the the, the three parts we use it in okay uh, in general um as we are a cancer center um all decisions are based on the decision of a, a multidisciplinary tumor board and um, patients um who are suitable for um, an operation, and I, I might refer to the to the main um, to the main uh, diseases we use it. it it's, it's brain metastases. Uh, so, if patients were referred to the uh, multidisciplinary tumor board, and they are um, thought to be suitable for um, surgery, just to remove the um, the metastasis, um, we then. Um, have the decision to do an adjuvant radiotherapy and all those patients in my hospital are offered um, two options. The first option would be to be an intraoperative radiotherapy in this re in this situation. And the second option would be a post-operative um, external beam radiotherapy, which is standard of care. Um, the situation in Germany is a little bit special as we've got a statement from um, the, my radiation oncology society called DEGO, uh, which says that IOT postoperative for brain metastases is a standard of care in Germany. So we, we don't have um, any problems with the insurance companies or something like that. Actually, um, it's um, within the the, the consent. Um, we I, I talked to them, or the radiation oncologist um, on on uh, on duty is talking to them, and uh, he describes the two options. The first option would be the standard, what what is used um, worldwide mostly, that with postoperative um, radiotherapy, which would mean that uh, after surgery there would be some delay for wound healing, and afterwards the patient would. Um, come to our department and then would be some kind of um, radiation planning and then the treatment. And the other um, option uh, would be that uh, during um, the operation, when there is a confirmed uh, histology, of histological confirmed metastases, um, we could perform an IORT, which is um, equivalent uh, from the outcome to the external beam treatment, which has the main advantage for the patient that it's a one-stop shop. So if he gets awake after the um, operation, everything is done. And, and uh, the only thing they need to do is follow up. IRT is um, a thing which stresses um, multidisciplinary um, treatment. And for me as a radiation oncologist, it's um, a, a good uh, opportunity to come in contact with my um, surgical um, colleagues. Um, actually, um, only since I, I perform IRT, they, they uh, accept me as a doctor. Uh, you know, if you show up in the OR that you you come, there's time you spend with them. And so you you get a closer look to what they do and they get a, a better understanding what you do. So in general, despite of the, the, the real case you're doing, then uh, there is a, a, communication a communication starting from that. Um, so this is um, a very um, 
good uh, thing to do mm-hmm. just to to enhance your communication with the surgic with your surgical colleagues and um, the first thing you have to do if you want to start that is you have to talk to your surgical colleagues and make them aware of the possibilities and then try to um, identify cases in your hospital or in your setting uh, that they might might be suitable for this um, method and uh, then start start learning uh, doing that Interoperative radiotherapy is some kind you can you could see like a, a kind of tool you could add to your surgical uh, toolbox um, and you can apply um, this kind of treatment every time you can get close to the to the tumor or the tumor bed and add additional um, dose, which in um, most of the cases is uh, directly linked with local control. So it's a good thing to do. Mm-hmm.